FSD 13.2.9 supervised is already very good as is. You can have it drive you for hours without you doing anything. But sometimes, just sometimes, it behaves oddly. Despite it driving perfectly in far more complex situations, it somehow struggles with some seemingly simple tasks and it can be dangerous. That's why it's still called supervised and needs a human to watch carefully and take over at any second. So be mindful of these situations. The following are all the issues I have found with FSD version 13 so far. First one, among all the issues, this one is the most bizarre. It's happened a few times over the past month that I've been using version 13. In my case, it always happens in a 50 km per hour zone when there are no lanes marked on the road. Watch it driving normally. All of a sudden, when a white BMW turns into the same street, FSD starts driving towards it. I don't know what would have happened if I didn't intervene, but I had to take over. I've checked the video over and over, but I have no clue why it happened. And here is another example driving into the oncoming lane. There is even a sign saying, keep left. I can't find any reason for it to drive in the wrong lane. If you get out of a private property and turn onto a street, FSD somehow just can't decide which way to go. There's a chance it will drive into the oncoming lane. It's something version 13 does. It drives into the oncoming lane. This is very strange behavior as well and leaves us all wondering why, especially when it can handle far more complex situations. FSD is mostly very good at the roundabout, but I think it treats every roundabout like a very busy one, especially at small roundabouts. Look when we head towards this small roundabout, there's an SUV on the right slowly turning, but FSD is like, nah, we can make it. So I had to wave at SUV and then we got honked at. Well, that was expected when there weren't many cars around, but FSD passed it like a busy roundabout. This is kind of a small issue, but the next one is quite serious. We are turning left at the roundabout, but even though we have plenty of time to get into the left lane, version 13 ignores the lane markings and arrows, and just turns left from the right hand lane. Usually FSD is pretty good when it's too late to make a turn. It will continue straight and turn to get back on track, but at this one it seems to have a mind of its own. Even though all the road markings are very clear, it just can't do it properly at this roundabout. This reminds me of a situation you can see here, where we need to turn right onto the highway in about one kilometre. I wanted to signal for a right turn, but then I thought, let's see what it does this time, because I know that at this intersection, version 13 always has issues. It's the same here, all the traffic signs are clear and the navigation is explicit, but it doesn't do anything. There aren't any cars blocking on the right either. It continues going straight. It strangely makes a U-turn from the front, but at least it doesn't turn somewhere it shouldn't, like in the previous clip. Sometimes it can make a perfect turn here, but other times it will do a U-turn like this. It's different every time. Same stuff here. We are about to turn left in around 800 meters. No cars on the right, but it's still not switching. We need to turn right shortly after the traffic lights. It would be better to switch lanes beforehand, as this is a busy road. If there were a lot of cars, we could have missed the turn. Watch how late it moves over. It waits until the last second to turn. It manages to do it, but switching lanes a bit earlier would be much better. These are some things FSD does quite often. For example, as shown in the last clip, it ignores the navigation and misses the turn. Sometimes it misses the turn because it's blocked by traffic, as it tends to switch lanes quite late. Other small issues are more like a personal preference and the way I use current version of FSD. For example, FSD tends to stop a little too close to the cars in front of it. I think the way Autopilot does it is the best. Autopilot usually keeps more space when stopping. Also, version 13 can't really keep in the middle of the lane. It's always close to either side. And in some situations, it doesn't indicate. It definitely doesn't indicate when exiting a roundabout, but not a big deal here. Version 13 sometimes takes over slow moving cars, but a lot of the time just waits behind them. 
Using the pedal to accelerate will push it to overtake, or you can manually indicate. You can also indicate for FSD to switch lanes in preparation for turning. This is to prevent it missing a turn, which it sometimes does. It is better to turn on FSD when the car has already hit the road, not while in park. In most cases you will be fine letting FSD drive out of the parking lot, but occasionally you might have a difficult time. It's also a good idea to take over early, when you are about to arrive at your destination. It will usually try to find an empty spot to park, but it's just not as good as version 14 in the US. I've always been a person who loves to drive, with a feeling of knowing that you can sit back and relax at the push of a button and simply watch as FSD drives through all kinds of roads. You will have to try it for a bit to realise how much you come to depend on it. You will never want to go back to driving without it. I am using it daily, and when I switch to driving the 2021 Model 3, at times I will question it for a second. Why aren't you turning yet? You will feel spoilt in a very short time as you become used to it. If you feel stressed while driving around the city, just get it. It does a phenomenal job in complex scenarios, when there are a lot of people, cars and bikes moving around you. If you mainly drive on the highway, I think autopilot is better value, it's free. It always keeps to the maximum speed that you set, and it will stop and go with the flow of traffic. It's good enough to reduce tiredness. Just use the FSD subscription to try it out, don't pay 10,000 for the current version. Lastly, please make sure to always pay attention. When FSD is on, please don't forget that it is supervised. Because have a look at this last clip. We are turning left onto a busy road during high traffic. There are a lot of cars coming from both the right and left, so I have my foot on the brake. We have to wait till the right and left are clear, which means the opposite white van has the right of way. But watch what it does here. It moves at the same time as the van. This is a very big issue here. It seems like it was actually going to go ahead, as you can see on the screen, with the turning rainbow mark just before I intervened. And the car is over the white line. It's very strange, as I've been crossing here pretty much daily. This clip was the first time I've had a problem and had to take over. These videos might paint FSD in an overly bad light, but note that these issues do not happen in most situations. All in all, it is honestly better than most Uber drivers. I am sorry if I offended any Uber drivers, you guys are hardworking and I love you guys. But man, FSD really is effortless. It's just the start, version 13 was released not even a year ago, and version 14 was just released in America, and it is blowing everyone's mind, it's only going to get crazier from here. Leave a comment with your thoughts on all these issues. If you're using version 13 in Australia, I would be interested to hear from you. Have you had any problems that I didn't mention? If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for similar content. Catch you later. Okay.